Do you need hearing aids for a mild hearing loss? This is an excellent question and I am so excited to answer it in today's video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Emily. I was born with a congenital sensory neural hearing loss. I wear hearing aids in both ears and boy, do I love them. I love them so much. I created Definite Hearing as a way to increase awareness for the deaf and hard of hearing. And for today's video, it's perfect that we're going to talk about the question of, do I need hearing aids for a mild hearing loss? Let's start off by talking about what a mild hearing loss is. Everyone could chart their hearing on a little graph called an audiogram. A mild hearing loss is defined by professionals as a hearing loss between 26 and 40 decibels on the audiogram. If you're wondering if you have a mild hearing loss, the best way to figure this out is to go to an audiologist. They can perform a hearing test. On this test called an audiogram, little lines will chart your hearing. A blue line with X's for the left ear and a red line with circles for the right ear. But if these lines are between the 26 and 40 decibel range, you have a mild hearing loss. Have no fear. To give you some context, I have a moderate to severe hearing loss. My hearing loss is between 65 to 85 decibels. This is pretty significant. This means that I cannot hear anything that is quieter than the sound of a vacuum cleaner. Wow. Well, if I can't hear all of those sounds below that of a vacuum cleaner, what can a person with a mild hearing loss not hear? Typically, a person with a mild hearing loss cannot hear or has difficulty hearing birds, water dripping, leaves rustling, shuffling on carpets. Now, you might be thinking, Emily, why does it matter if I hear these things anyway? Well, because it can play into understanding speech. People with mild hearing losses often feel like people are mumbling or not speaking clearly. They might feel, why is everyone talking to me? Like I can tell they're talking, but I can't understand what they're saying. These are indicators that someone could be struggling with a mild hearing loss. Also, people with mild hearing losses struggle to understand in noisy environments. It's easy for them to understand what's going on in a quiet environment with one person talking. Talking, but when they're in a busy room or an environment with loud fan, it's hard to distinguish what's going on because sounds are relatively softer. People with mild hearing losses have difficulty understanding soft consonants, such as s, t, s. Consonants that just are softer and don't have the kick, like the k, t sounds. Because people with mild hearing losses are missing out on these soft consonants, it sounds like people have holes in their words, hence the fact they can hear, but they can't understand what they're hearing. So though mild hearing losses are mild, they still cause hearing issues. So you may be wondering, if I think I have a mild loss, what should I do? Go talk to a licensed audiologist, not just a hearing dispenser, not just an ear, nose, and throat doctor, but a licensed audiologist. An audiologist is a doctor of sound in the ear, and they can understand how to map your hearing, and they can recommend the best treatment for you. It is important to talk to an audiologist because they will recommend treatment options such as hearing devices. I wear hearing aids for my moderate to severe loss, and anyone with a mild loss could wear hearing aids as well. It is important to treat hearing loss, even a mild hearing loss, because hearing aids help sound get to the brain. What I mean by this is they analyze the sound, boost it according to the person's hearing loss, and send it to the brain. This minimizes hearing atrophy. What this is, is like muscle atrophy. So if you don't use your muscles, they shrink. They become small and they don't work as well. They're not as strong. The same is for the auditory pathway from your ears to your brain. If you don't use it, you lose it. Studies have also shown that addressing hearing loss can slow cognitive decline. That means that addressing hearing loss can decrease or delay the onset of dementia. Does that sound tempting? Definitely. Hearing is such a wonderful overlooked sense. If you think you're struggling with mild hearing loss at all, now you know what it is and now you know how to treat it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to making more great content for you. I hope you have a great day. Bye.